Good morning, everyone. Uh, Rekha, sir, very good morning, and thanks for setting the context for the discussion. Dr. Gambesh, thanks for inviting me. And uh, for me, it's an icing on the cake to be part of this celebration of being 35 years of the department. Uh, the topic that you have given me, Dr. Gambesh, and, and the entire August audience, the topic that we're talking is PPP. It sounds relatively new, but when my little understanding, PPP is running in healthcare at least for the last 20, 22 years now. Its key variations are in it, its key modalities are in it, uh, but I know there are locations in Jahapar which have been by Sanskrit, whether it's crude form, whether it's refined form, whether it's so I think over the last five, seven years, it has taken some better shapes. There are the partnerships, the uh, partnership the concept that was in the paper, now that concept is delivered in the scenario. Mein aane. So I'll just share some slides and we'll try and keep it interactive. If anybody wants to have some uh, in-between chats, we, I sh we should be free for that. Uh, so this is this is basically why PPP. You know, the few of the pointers that are mentioned. If you look at the government, uh, suddenly it's a question for the government funding. Government major challenges, right? Primary care is a major ask from the government sector. You know, what we are talking here is, is really high end diagnostics and high end surgery care is a component, which is about 30% of the delivery matrix, right? So, what a PPP typically does, it releases or it creates funds for the government to take care of its larger 70%. You know, that's, that's one uh, primary objective that PPP achieves and helps cater to that niche or the final requirements of delivery from a healthcare perspective. So it really fits in from a government ask. The challenge is what are the right vehicles to actually do that? That's where the gaps have been even today are. You know, while I'm saying it's 20, 22 years old, even today we are evolving. We are much better in PPP as a delivery model uh, but we are still evolving on a daily basis. So, I try to capture four pointers from a government perspective and from a money power perspective. Uh, I, I'll try, uh, I have two slides on what we do as Manipal Health Map, which is a Manipal vertical uh, on diagnostics a little later. But uh, from the way I have seen over the last eight years of my experience in PPP, uh, government setup, they have large number of patient flow, low affordability. I'm seeing the point that physical infrastructure has, patient has, uh, limited healthcare budget has. Again, healthcare budget is not enough, primary is a major challenge. That's again a point of view. In terms of private, we have to talk about efficiencies, super specialties. They are not available in tier 2 and tier 3. Okay, that is where the connection is. Now, if you talk need from a common perspective, they want efficiency, they want, uh, they want somebody to handle the high KFX on equipment. Sorry, me, sir. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt, sir. This is the pointer from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Okay, thank you. So we're talking of high cases like uh, one one pet CT, the minimum uh and I was just hearing from the company, uh, the pet CT cost is minimum is about eight nine crores. Okay. And in the last two years it has gone up by about 20 percent. You blame it on Ukraine or you blame it on Euro, dollar, whatever you say. So the costs are constantly on the higher side to right? So this remains a constant pressure for all of us. The point is with looking at The idea is how do you bridge these two things? That's what we are primarily looking at. The government's needs are addressed the, with the desire and the availability of uh, products or solutions from a private sector. That is the merging or PP story we are talking about. So these are few of the main criteria that I've thought about are basically, uh, 
if we look at the, look at 29 states, about 20, 21 states are running through the state of If not more, that's why it is. The various contracts that we've seen over the last few years, these are the six elements which decide a good PPP, an average PPP, and failed PPP. We've seen all of them. I mean, at least in the last uh, eight years of my PPP journey, I've seen all of them. All right. So, sir, make very important part that we have managed to get that bigger from an ideology perspective who is aligning to our hearts. So, when I am standing at the diet of LGBTI, it's important for not just me, any player to understand the needs of the country. You need thinking. You know, you need uninterrupted thinking, uninterrupted access to the product, uh, to the images, to the reports. I think that's that's one base criteria. The second criteria means uh, who the group is, what are the corporate governance under which the entity is running itself. So these are two the financial capability. So for example, uh, running a free Tesla MRI now. And a PFPD is usually different from running a 16 slide series that we also got. We run about, you know, about 18 16 slide series. Okay. Uh, it, it's rather easy to run those those locations. But when we're talking about pet series, we operate about four pet series right now. When we talk, we are operating high end MRs with 128 slide series, the ball game series. So, as you rightly mentioned, sir, this is one point. Financial viability is another matrix which uh, the institute and the end genesis on which the entire document is built. It makes it a viable. See, if it's a win win, then only the product is successful. If it's, let's say, for example, caters to what is the needs of the institute and not the player providing the services. See, the fact of the matter is the entity is not an NGO. It's a it's a entity who is there to uh, for profit. Okay, so the financial viability is very very important for it to be a successful project. Certainly, we when I when I was talking about evolution, these are the three of the evolution which have happened over the last five seven years. From the basic services that were being asked for or provided, now these are. Now, these are certain things that have become basic, like accreditations have to be taken. Certain parameters are not negotiable. Sir mentioned access to the staff. These are not negotiable. We operate at nine medical colleges uh, across our PPP location. So, access is non negotiable. Uh, access not just within us, within the system is non negotiable. So, it's part of the standard contract now. So again, again, you know, the contract has to be very clear from a reference of both the, the institute as well as the part, party. Technology is, is something which comes up for a very uh, relevant discussion in the course of, of, a, of setting up a PC. Uh, so, for example, today we talk about pet city under under uh, LGBTI. Uh, the logical ask for Mr. Gandhi's and team would be to have a digital pet. Logical, being LGBTI, uh, a, a highest kind of uh, of, of these scanner from a digital perspective. However, however, when we look at the working mass around it. It could be a, a, a calculation which is not what is the highest end of the market. That is something where consensus comes from. For example, I will put it more generally. If we want a CT in a hospital, if we are running it with a good 16 slide, ma'am, ma'am, probably will connect better. 
a good 16 slash 32 does everything other than cardiac. That, that's my understanding. Then. But the one will be a cardiac CT. Okay. Cardiac CT will change your max of viability in totality from a cost perspective. Uh, so, a technical difference is if this is X, that is 4X as a cost. Okay. So, I think that is where we become, uh, we become partners. We align to discussions in terms of coming to the right technology also. Good to have technologies and must have technologies. That's some difference uh, when we set up the uh, entire process. Uh, last but not the least, payment mechanism is something that has to be good, safe for investors who who are who are who are dealing with corporate governance who do technically right things. The payment mechanism is another point. This should be addressed correct. So these are certain standard contract points which I thought I'll bring to the audience. You can read the context, but I, the point of the reason I put this slide is just to give you a flavor of where the market today is in terms of TV. Uh, radiology, you have the maximum uh, installations of PPP map all around the country. Uh, as I mentioned, out of I think 2021 states or UTs are running uh, radiology. The quality is not far behind, and these are for obvious reasons, you know. Uh, it, it's faster to, to do this, this product, you know, you, you boot camp, and then comes the quality. Pet CT is also catching up now. Uh, we are putting up our first pet CT at uh, RCC Kartipuram now. Administration, the machine is running in September. Uh, but all these six uh, pet CTs are operational in Tamil Nadu under, under CPT. Gas lab is there. Uh, but currently, to my knowledge, only about three to four states. And the reason why this is here and radiology is there is, is self-explainable because the moment your clinical incisiveness gets stronger, you know, uh, that is where it gets more institute-specific. Okay? Where it's uh, a diagnostic delivery, it's relatively uh, comfortable for the partner to deliver without getting too much uh, incisive on the overall department or the, or the other aspect of the hospital. So, they are only somewhat independent on that part. The moment you come to the lower state of this, your dependency on the system gets very high. So, unless or until you have a good backup in terms of patient handling and everything, that is the reason this is, the, this is going the slowest. And, and just to share our mindset, we as an entity have chosen to go slow about it as of, as of today. Because unless uh, the group is not sure about it, and that every patient who comes to our center is handled the right way, we will not get anything. All right. So just a, just a map uh, placement of uh, what I was talking in terms of which all states are having various forms of PPP for you to see. Uh, I'm open to questions subsequently also, and after the meeting also, uh, I'll share a, a little snippet on the uh, health map that's us. So let me put it, we are part of the hospital chain of Manipal. Manipal hospital today runs about 28 hospitals. After Columbia, she became part of us. So earlier we were 14 and 13 were acquired by uh, Columbia, Asia. And now I think even uh, this is done. And this is the name, the Katana chain. That is also done. So that will add about four more hospitals. Amway. Amway is being added. So that will take us as a bed capacity to the number two player in the country uh, after Apollo. Apollo currently there are about 10,000 plus beds. Uh, we are the diagnostic arm. We, we started our journey in, in 2015, sir. Uh, today these are some numbers I thought I'll share with everyone. 2.5 million plus scans is what we have done. Haryana was the first location we started. There we operate about 12 locations. Jharkhand is statewide for us. I don't know if I have covered the states here. Uh, so we do. So we are in terms of PPP. We are in uh, Haryana, Jharkhand, Odisha, and Tamil Nadu is coming now. 
uh, we in the meanwhile we have done private implants also uh, we have one in rajasthan we have one in uh, 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 in uh, karnataka in fact and two in bangalore initially so four three in karnataka and two others so this this just one point i wanted to highlight here the 18 number of nabs centers i think that is where the journey uh, uh, is is leading from a quality delivery perspective it's not a so the contracts where we are it is it is recommended it is not mandatory because we have done contracts five six years back right uh, even as today it's, it's recommended but the way we grow being being a manipal entity they won our sops for everything nabs so we actually went for it so we have not taken nabs only at the smaller locations where we're doing our x-ray ultrasound there are about 15 such locations uh, other than that, all our locations are NABH graded. So I think I've covered all these points. Uh, <laughs> just to give you a price point. So most of the contracts in PPP are centered around CDHS price, uh, all across the country. We have all the uh, projects that we are running, we are doing different price points. So it could be CDHS premium, it could be CDHS discount. So that's one way to uh, get a bigger place of our right. In one of the states, Odisha, where it's a single rate. It's a single rate for you know irrespective of whatever you do. It's a single rate. Okay. Uh, pet CT we are doing a single rate. Uh, single in the sense not many variables are there. It's it's five or six rates, not many variables. And then there are layers of it. So so when I say layers, Jharkhand is multi-layered. So for example, at Dell Parameter, we do MRCT, X-ray, ultrasound, ECG, echo, and MO, everything. Okay. Then in Haryana, we do only MRI because the X-ray ultrasound part is already addressed at this stage now. Okay. So we have come for the second part. So, so one pointer I wanted to put forward is in terms of. Uh, this cloud-based connectivity. See, this is this is something uh, why I'm talking this is this is more it became a compulsion rather than a selling point or a talking point here. To be efficient, I need to have a three-tier reporting system. All right. Everything that we do across all our centers is packed place, and all our centers are connected. We have our own telehub. So when we started. We took support of outside tele teams and stuff like that. Today we have our own tele hub at Bangalore. So we have about 28 radiologists who support in house. <laughs> then we are we have our own tele hub. Uh, and then we have a third layer of Manipal radiologists also who support us in case there is further spare capacity required. At times it is there. At times it is not up. There is capacity from our large size. Let's say in leave season, September, October, we have capacity. We offer it back to our principals. That's how it works. So this is again a map representation of where we are uh, in terms of the states. Uh, I've already spoken about it. Uh, when I was talking about the locations, so these are few of the medical colleges where we operate map. Uh, and just to give you a number of, in terms of the efficiencies, for example, at Rotak, which is PGI Rotak, where we operate the uh, MR and CT, typically we do about 160 to 170 scans per day. So, uh, and in, in fact, after after our parents knew that we are we are okay, we it's not the best. They gave uh, their AMT one set of MR and CT so that. The patient stay in reduced. So KMC being a Manipal Medical College, uh, they had two sets of MRI and CT. So, but the process was a little, you know, uh, I would say delayed in terms of 
कि तो अगर आईपीडी का पेशेंट अभी दोपहर को आया तो वो प्रोसेस से उसका रिकॉर्डिंग हो रहा था तो वन सेट दे गेव टू अस टू एक्सपेडाइट दैट तो वन सेट डिपार्टमेंट इज लाइक वन सेट इज गिवन टू अस सो आई थिंक आई एम प्राइमरीली डन इन केस देयर आर इन केस देयर आर क्वेश्चंस आई कैन आंसर uh on the journey uh, if you look at the logo on the right hand top this is how the company was formed in 6th of april 2015 the company was formed and uh, i was the first to join the company at that time uh, i was working at philip uh, healthcare at that time and uh, this company started as a baby of man philip and manipal all right subsequently philip formed Uh, Manipal is totally Manipal only now. So in the last one and a half years, Manipal Health Map has invested in technology companies. Also, the main we are seeing is identity is a technology company, medicine is a technology company. So we have reference lab based on uh, this is identity is based on Mumbai, this is based on Hyderabad, and together we have a new brand here. This is Manipal Tooth, and that's what I'm wearing today. Uh, I'm done from my side, and I'm open for questions if any.